Hey everyone, it's Charlie. It's April 3rd, it's Friday. And the unemployment numbers came out today. Uh, 742,000 jobs lost last month was ADP's report. Uh, that was earlier in the week. And I think the government's number, which, you know, I didn't even look it up, but I heard it on the radio, it was 600 and some thousand which you know they will revise upwards uh next month and it will look more like the adp unemployment report in the mid 700s let's just say three quarters of a million people lost their jobs last month um and that trend is going to keep uh keep going and going and that in and of itself is collapsing the economy all by its lonesome self because the 70 percent consumer economy well, we can't have a consumer economy if we have 16% unemployment, which is what we really are at, not this 8.5 garbage that they want to uh, uh, blast across the news. Um, the 16% is how they would have gauged the unemployment rate in any other recession we've been in. But they, they're taking a number out. Um, when they judge on when they judge unemployment rates now so it gets it at this stupid 8.5 percent which you know bogus but why should that surprise you because everything our government doing doing now blah everything our government is doing now is um say one thing do another um i, I had an argument yesterday with a good friend of mine about the amount of money I, I mean he's just regular people regular american citizen and as ignorant as any one you'd find on the street and I don't say that disparagingly I mean it in the fact that he doesn't he's not awake he, he you know he, he thinks we've spent about two trillion dollars in bailouts and stimulus and tarp and talf and and uh, you know I, I told him before I looked up the numbers today um, we were in the nine ten trillion dollar range and he thought I was out of my mind he th no we haven't no no I you know I've watched it on TV when Congress had big you know, a big to-do back in uh, September of last year, voted no, voted yes. You know, that was only 750, well, 850. Uh, and then the next round was only this much. And, you know, that's only a couple trillion dollars with interest. Well, the fact of the matter is um, our Treasury uh, uh, and the Federal Reserve, not even a government entity, um, have wartime powers to just pretty much do whatever the hell they want to do give out to who the hell they want to give it to, threaten people to take money so they can, the government can get their fingers involved in that company, even if it's a bank that doesn't need the money. Um, and there is a few news sites you can find this on. I, I, I'm going to put a link up on this video. Bloomberg News, uh, dated March 31st. I'm looking right at the article. Financial rescue nears GDP as pledges top $12.8 trillion. Yeah. $12.8 trillion, March 31st, before President Obama promised whatever chunk of money we're giving to the IMF for their new currency that they're making. They're, they're claiming it's a trillion dollars. I'm sure America is going to be printing up most of that money. So let's just call it $12.8 trillion as of March 31st. And on, look at this site. You can see where the money's went. You can see what, it's, what money's pledged. And if it's pledged, if our government pledges money to spend money, they're going to spend it or print it. Um, and thus will be the end of our dollar. It's going away. So if you're having that argument with people that, you know, you're throwing numbers around about nine, 10, 11 trillion dollars, and they think you're insane because they only see what's on uh, Fox News at night. They only hear the big shows that go on in Congress about... Uh, 750 billion dollar budgets wake them up i mean you know our gdp last year was 14.2 trillion dollars that's that's how much that's how much money that's what our economy was worth last year we've almost spent it already we've almost spent that much in these bailouts one more little interesting fact about that number if you think that uh, if you're sitting there watching this and thinking that President Obama and uh, this gu this administration and our Congress is out f for our best interest because they did a, a show trial on some AIG executives for a pittance for for what would be a buck and a half to you and me, $160 million. Um, and that made you warm and fuzzy about your government. 
We'll try this one on for size. The, every mortgage in this country is worth $10 trillion. Mine, yours, every neighbor you have, every person you know that has a mortgage could be paid off for $10 trillion. We've spent $2.8 trillion more than that already. Okay, People are losing their homes in record numbers. They, they, we get a 90-day moratorium on foreclosures, foreclosures. That was voluntary from some banks. Are you kidding me? We've spent enough money we put we've spent enough money giving to the same people who created this mess they've got this they're holding it they're waiting for these assets to be devalued in price so they can buy them up with government assistance yours and mine they're double triple dipping uh on the american taxpayer whatever it none of it matters because it's all engineered anyway to turn this into a third fourth fifth world country so some elite globalist banker ahead ahead of the IMF can make a currency and, and enslave the whole world under one banking system, one government. That's the end of that's the end of the line on this thing. So anyway, the point is I'm six minutes into this thing already. I'm not going to be able to get through the whole everything I want to talk about. It, it's frustrating, and I'm frustrated right now because we got nuts in this country who absolutely refuse to hear the truth. They refuse to accept the fact that this isn't the dot com bubble. This is the end of this country bubble. And they're waking up, losing their jobs, losing their mind, and killing people. And we saw it today, and we've seen it in numbers, a number of cases in the last month. You know, it, this is going to get extremely commonplace as this thing deteriorates even more. People are going to lose their mind because they didn't want to believe the truth. They want to bury their head in the sand and pretend that their bailout was coming, that their elected representatives give a crap about them or their family. They don't. Get your mind right. Get your head into the real game. All right? You need to, you need to mentally prepare for what's coming. Before you put in any kind of food or gold or silver, you need to get your mind wrapped around the fact that there's a really, really good chance that you're not going to have a dime in a very short order. And you might not have a roof over your head. So you better, you better get your mind wrapped around that so that fact alone doesn't wake you up one morning and, and make you go nuts because you're, you're hopeless and you don't know what to do. You know, and, and that's that's the trouble. There's tons of people here on YouTube and there's even becoming there's even people in mainstream media now that are trying to get this message out that are so, we're losing our country. We're losing our sovereignty. We're losing our economy. Prepare. Get ready. Start talking to your friends and family about it, because the, the, if the, the stick in your head in the sand can only end in disaster for you and the ones you care about. So please, please. Get out there, talk to people, face reality, and get ready. That's all I have for now.